Sure, I'm, I'm Matthew Lee from Inner City Press. First, I mean, I guess for the, for the people thinking about this instrument, I wanted to know how you would, do, you know, define journalists, whether it includes, you know, online journalists, bloggers. I know actually in Syria there have been some state state media, you know, that people consider almost propagandists, but they've also been killed by by some uh, armed groups. And so I wonder, I mean, are you equally as concerned about about the, you know, you have a range of journalists. It seems like so their people are targeted based on the on the content of their coverage, but some of the, NATO bombed the the the, Li the Libyan state TV and I, there seem to be the UN many of the proponents of the of the the of you know of the the Security Council resolutions didn't seem that concerned about it, but I wonder where on the range of, of the things that I've laid out, where are are these things considered journalists, and would they be subject to to uh, protection? And then I just have one for the Somali journalists, if you don't mind. I have one question: whether you think that Mahiga, the, the uh, Augustine Mahiga, and the whole UN presence in Somalia has it done enough on the issue of protection of journalists in terms of speaking out and in terms of sort of uh, trying to, to to make it a priority there. Thanks a lot. Oh, glad to Sadly catch you. Indeed. Um, well, um, the UN is present in Somalia, and, uh, but uh, I can say as a small journalist, they have done for us very little. Uh, because we need to be frank, uh, it's just not a big organization. Uh, in society, it's not one of the perpetrators, and they will not persecute per se. So, my eager issue is a statement, is usually condemning it. But, uh, for example, at the UN is in, present in Mogadishu, when a few meters away from the compound, journalists are killed. Even Mahiga cannot go and visit the family of killed journalists. Cannot visit the journalists. And they're the first time of information. That is outside of the disappointment. <coughs> um, uh, and of course, the whole system of the country is down. The judicial system is not working. The police is not working. Uh, that also contributes to the issue. But also our, our need is, OK, since an outsider, an international person that is watching what is happening in the country, please document this. Put the facts right so that tomorrow, when one day, justice will come. And then instead of he said, she said of the Somalis, then an international observer has recorded these violations, news of violations. So that is uh, what I could say. Who would like to think? Yeah, kind of the first one. That is, that is a very good question because obviously uh, six years ago, uh, things were quite difficult and it's done by now. And in fact, I mean, I did say that uh, we produce a report every year. And our, our report, I get in much more closer to what we're doing at the moment because what's going on with them? Because we get citizen journalists, we get bloggers, and so on. Uh, but I also said that uh, we represent journalists of the journalists themselves. Sure. And uh, they're still um, not very clear to you about so, uh, bloggers, among the journalists themselves. We get a big chunk of our membership. We don't accept you that know, bloggers are, are journalists, so that is, a, that, is, that is the first one. The, the second point is in relation to, to the incident, because that, that issue was, was raised earlier. Well, we can sit down and say we need new instruments. Uh, but we want at the moment you know, to deal with what we've got, because what we've got is a, a plethora of, of, of various instruments and uh, resolution, and, uh, and very few of them are implemented. And uh, many journalists and our members want us to lobby, to implement what we've got. We can enter a phase of having a discussion, you know, dealing with what we the authorities you know, have created, dealing with the fact that the old instrument you know, uh, didn't work in certain cases. It would take us, who knows, five years, ten years to produce a, another tool. While at the moment, nobody is dealing with the current tool that we've got. Because what is the reason why governments haven't got the real to implement what they've got? can spend 10 years producing a fantastic tool, theoretically really fantastic, but you will be the same people, still sitting on them and not doing anything about them. So that is a debate. But at the moment, the declaration, uh, and that is what the, the beauty of what our colleagues have done, they reached a consensus. You know, that is what we are at, you know, trying to move with what we've got. But within that, we're not shying away, even if we've got differences, of what to do next. 
because we are continuing that debate, but at the heart of it, it should be the journalists. There are plenty of organizations, NGOs, or press freedom, you know, and freedom of expression organizations, who only represent themselves. You know. And they are free you know, to say what they think. You know. We are a democratic organization. could only do at the pace of what our journalists think you know, their protection should be enjoyed. <coughs> Yes, just on, on the question of the definition, which in fact is a very important issue. And then there is also a debate on the, this uh, question. Uh, the, the special rapporteur on uh, Mr. Haynes on uh, the judicial killings, he referred in his report to the last session of the Human Rights Council in June to the definition of journalists uh, uh, of the recommendation number R 2007, the Committee of Ministers of the Council of Europe, which is uh, the, probably the most recent one. But we think uh, the, that definition can be complemented by some fundamental elements uh, defining the provisions, rights, and duties, uh, like those contained in the Munich uh, Charter of 71. Now, this is a quite old one. 40 years, and, and maybe due to the evolution of the uh, technological means, uh, maybe this charter can be up upgraded today. But of course, we, uh, we have to think also to include in this protection uh, all those who provide information in the situation <coughs> crisis. Uh, we have time for one more question.